name's Mario Mahani, and this week's Aqua Tip is using the belt in deep water where you're completely suspended, as you can see that I am now. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a single leg kick forward and down. So it's up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Now, meanwhile, the other leg stays perfectly still while you move that leg up and down. In fact, this is a great exercise for teaching people to stabilise and move. So, you know, I often combine this like cutting a piece of meat. You've got the fork to hold it still while you're using the other hand to cut it. And we have a lot of activities in everyday life where that's the case. And this is a great example of doing that. So up, down, up, down, up, down. The idea is to kick the leg quickly. So you want to kick the leg quickly as you do this exercise. And I usually do repeaters on one side and then repeaters on the other side. Now you'll notice that my body is bobbing up and down. So every time the leg drives down, the body should pop up because it's a push down, not a lower down. So it's not this, where people are just moving the leg up and down. There is a little bit of a workout effect here if they snap their heel in enough, okay? But if you're not snapping the heel in or moving at any particular pace, it decreases the workout effect dramatically. So you want to get the, the speed because you want the push through. Now, because you're getting knee extension, you're working your quads, but you're not working your quads in a way where you've got impact. So this is a great way for training lower body muscles without load through the knees if you've got clients with issues with that. So single leg forward, single leg down, up, down. The hands are sculling to the side. Fingers are spread wide apart. You have to create that turbulence, that resistance. It's both an upper and a lower body workout and it will definitely get your client's heart rate up. And that's this week's Aqua Tip. Demonstrating the single leg kick for, forward and down is actually pretty easy to do on land. So you're standing nice and straight, you're kicking front, down, front, down, front, down. Remember the hands are doing that sculling action. And so it's actually pretty easy to demonstrate. Just remember to flick the foot forwards, flick the foot down, flick the foot forwards, flick the foot down. So they understand to push down. Because the trouble is, on land, you can just demonstrate a kick forwards and a kick down and it just looks like you're lowering your leg down. So emphasize, flick, 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 and a push down action. And as they push down, the body should pop up a little bit. The other thing that I also talk about is how straight and long and stable the other leg is. So I say, think about pushing that leg down towards the bottom of the pool while you kick that leg forward and kick that leg down. So that stays motionless while you move the other part of your body. Remind them that this is both an upper body workout and a lower body workout, so they should feel it equally in both places. So not hard to demonstrate, and a pretty good workout for your clients when done at the right tempo. That's this week's appetite.